Sister Glory. I know what this is about. The Patriarch has sent the famous Desert Rangers to inquire after his son, Valor. I'll be with you in just a moment, Rangers. Justice is swift in God President Reagan's America. Well, well, so polite. Excellent. We have something we'd like to discuss with you, too. Ronnie, are you ready to begin the trial? Yes, Nancy. Uh, present the accused. I've heard about this thing. Some kind of sentient super weapon, so watch out. Thank you, husband. First, the heathen godfisher attacked three of our commandos, captured one, cut off his limbs, and sent him screaming into the sky. The gods of the sky must be appeased, or the nurturing rains will never come. Thus, we appease them with our sacred kites and the blood of unbelievers. Well, that doesn't sound very civilized. What's the other one done? There is no one in there but God President Reagan. Now please, no further interruptions. The other one, husband, is a communist robot from the machine commune who trespassed on our land. Your designation is incorrect. We are a direct democracy. And I entered your lands to heal the injured humans. It is irrelevant whether one is communist. Co communist? Communist? Just for the hit. No one can be denied the promise that is, well, America. Let's give her a second chance. Go and, uh, send no more. <laughs> Fools! The gods of the sky will devour you! Uh, thus is justice done in America. God bless us, and God bless God President Reagan. Sorry to keep you waiting, but matters of state must come first. I'm Mother Nancy Reliance, and this is my husband, God President Reagan. Welcome to the Shining City on the Hill. Funny you should ask. I have a proposal in mind that could get you one, as well as help you with your Valor Buchanan problem. Come and join Ronnie and I in the Western White House. We'll meet you in the sacred server room and discuss it there. Good day. <gasps> Chili beans! We haven't had any visitors since we piled the Patriarch's oil. You're the Rangers, right? <laughs> Meeting God President Reagan is a great honor. Congratulations!
Desert Rangers! We don't get many famous folks around. The You're getting the VIP treatment, too. Meeting the God President face to face. I'm Sister Nancy Glory, by the way. Anything I can do for you? Huh? Oh, we didn't do any of that. That was all the God President. Ain't that right, sir? <laughs> I have to protect my Nancy, don't I? Oh, Ronnie. You're making me blush. Oh, Ron is everywhere. He sees through every statue in this place. But the place he likes to be most is in the server room with Mother Nancy. Well, because the robot was a commie, obviously. But you never know with Ronnie. Last week he spared a robot, killed two godfishers, and incinerated a tree. It's all part of his plan, though. I know that. Ronnie set her free. She's one of them crazy godfishers. They like to hang people's torsos onto kites and fly them up in the air. Supposed to attract demons from the clouds or something like that. Ugh, disgusting heathen nonsense. This is Ronnie's land, his oil, and we ain't leaving. Not for cannibals, call me computers, pinko robots, or filthy plain savages. Not for anyone. The Godfishers? Sure. They're the crazy cultists who kill people and fly their torsos up to the clouds on kites. And I'm pretty sure they want to kill us all. So, not very neighborly neighbors, if you know what I mean. Well, don't tell anybody I said so, but we kinda do. There's more and more of them all the time. They're moving into our oil field now. Of course, Ronnie blasts them whenever they get too close, but he ain't mobile, and Mother Nancy won't give me the troops I need to fight them. So, well, if you're looking, I told you we don't need saving. We just, oh, let's just change the subject. We take the name Nancy from Ronnie's original wife, back before the deluge of fire. I love my Nancy. Oh, I love you too, Ronnie. You too. Don't forget, Mother Nancy and Ronnie are waiting for you inside. our trap. You have fine ears. I hope one day to send them skyward so they may delight the gods of the sky. The mechanical giant known as Reagan kills our faithful, delaying the harvest. You have access to the Gipper's inner sanctum. 
It has three glowing hearts, known as terminals. You will destroy these terminals, so we may sweep across this land, making gifts of flesh to the sky. In return, you may pass through our camps without fear. We will not harm you. Gods of the sky, forgive them their foolishness. When their flesh feeds you, they shall be redeemed. Provide for the work. The hunger don't keep the God president waiting. I wish I could get an audience with the God president. Sorry, partners. Access to this console is restricted by order of the Nancys. What? No, I, I didn't even realize it. What should I do? Sir, yes, sir. Pressing the button now, sir. I, I think I did something wrong. I hope the Nancys don't get mad. on top of Ronnie Cobb when a god tells you your trick. Blood, sweat, and tears, friend. Also, hunt more than a few of the statues bits and bobs have blood on them. A fitting tribute to a I did. Well now, kinda you to say so. What did you like best about it? <laughs> Wasn't easy. Months of coding the connection to Ronnie. About a hundred miles of cable. And the testing was a nightmare. <sighs> Worth it in the end, though, if I do so. That reminds me, I got some leftovers from that job taking up valuable space. It's yours if make sure you put that to good use, Rangers. Sure, have a look. I wish I could get an audience with the God present. My fellow Americans, well, turn with me now to the book of Bonzo, chapter 12, verse 1. Blessed are the job creators, for the tax cuts they receive will trickle down to the middle class. Well, blessed are the nukes, for they protect our freedom from the evil communist. Blessed is the oil that sustains our military industrial complex and makes us, well, a shining city on the hill. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great. On Wall Street. Success sounds. Green is good. Sys admin log entry 509. Testament of Sister Nancy Justice. Another unexpected proclamation today. 
Mother Nancy has ordered a full audit of Reagan's neural net to try and isolate the cause. Sys admin log entry. Rangers! They work for my father! You promised to keep me safe! Calm down, Valor. God President Reagan has everything under control. Well now, welcome, patriots. N N Nancy and I, well, we appreciate your selfless service and want to thank you for it. You are true Americans and we'll go 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 good neighbors. Now then, Help yourself to some chai beans, and let's get down to business, shall we? As you, as you know, you and I have a run, run, run rendezvous with destiny. We'll preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man, 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 man on earth. If it takes a blood, 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 let's get it over with. Well, what do you say? Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. How do you tell a co communist? Well, it's someone who reads Marx and Lenin. And how do you tell an anti-communist? -co it's someone who understands Marx and Lenin. They're like choosy cannibals, right? They only eat the rich. Um asking only for purposes of our education, ma'am and sir. We don't mean to upset anyone. I'll be happy to explain, Rangers. Communism is a foul philosophy that tricks people into giving up their individuality and submitting to the will of the state, which commands them to work for free and relentlessly attack those who don't subscribe to their ideology. It is an evil beyond reckoning. My heart and best intentions still tell me that's tr true, but the facts and the evidence tell me that it is not, 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 not. Oh, you're, you're confused, sweetie. It's the other way around. Why shouldn't we believe that? We are Ameri Americans. That's yes. enough, Ronnie. Yes. You did very well. But it's bedtime for Bonzo now, okay? Okay, m I... Thank you for joining the God President and I in the sacred server room, Rangers. Before we discuss why you're here, I have a proposition for you. A favor that would make us look more favorably on your requests. My husband, the God President, wishes to transfer his consciousness to a human body. To accomplish this, we must acquire a... What was it, Valor? A cybernetic transfer module. It's amazing. Basically, what it does is... That's enough for now, Valor. But yes, we must acquire this transfer module from the filthy communist robots that occupy the Denver airport. Or rather, we'd like you to acquire it and bring it here to us. Once God President Reagan has a human body, you'll be rewarded with money, a fine weapon, and we will relinquish our claim on Valor and restart the oil to Colorado Springs. Agreed, but only after Valor helps us transfer God President Reagan into a new body. That's right, they can't do this without me. Yes, dear, now keep working. Meanwhile, our home is at your disposal. I'll tell the sisters you can come and go as you please. Make America.
program. Guards who get posted here are so full of themselves. Welcome to the palace, Ranger. Stop! Only members of the Patriarch's family are allowed back here. Rangers, welcome. How are you settling in? Not at all. Now, what can I do for you? Resolved. How? I'd ask if you put up a fight, but I know better. The boy was always weak. Too many books and computers, not enough sweat and blood. I suppose I shouldn't be wishing he had been harder to bring in. You brought him back alive, and that's what I wanted. So here's a reward for a job well done. And my people tell me you got him back by taking the Gipper's god hostage. I don't have the slightest idea what that means, but good job. Tell me. So I've heard. A red-headed soldier, training rebels. Not my first priority, but thanks for the information. For now? No. Stay focused on the task at hand. If she contacts you, well, learn what you can about her plans, but don't move on her until I say. Got it? On the other hand, if she's foolish enough to confront you, do what you have to do. She's a ranger, so it's ranger business, not mine. Ask there. Why? Are you getting ideas? Of course, and I will. When the time is right. Used to be my strongest supporters. Until we had an argument about how quickly democracy should be instituted in Colorado. When they lost that argument, they tried to usurp me, and... Well... Until they attacked the city, I thought I'd wiped out the whole family. Apparently, Neelius led some of them into the wilderness. I should have been more thorough. I assume it was Liberty who put them up to the raid. They were never this clever before. The nation as you see it is my life's work. Only fools expand beyond their ability to govern. <laughs> that rumor just keeps coming back year after year. I have no need for secret prisons, Rangers. All prisoners in Colorado stay in ordinary jails. And if your baseless suspicions lead you to go snooping around this lovely neighborhood, bothering my finest citizens, I'll put you in one. Understood? Fine. Before you go, Thank you for saving that Arapaho caravan. The power armor they were carrying will help keep my marshals safe, which will keep the citizens of Colorado safe. Now get going, and come back with results.